PS Ever Loaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. Oh, what you thought? I wasn't going to talk about this? Oh, I saw the tweets out there. Some of you got your feelings. Because I put a tweet out there about what LL said on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay. Shout out, shout out. First of all, shout out to Shannon Sharp right quick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love what that brother's doing, man. What he's showing everything, man. But that don't mean I cannot have an opinion. And let me just say off the rip before the comment boys go on the bottom and start typing a bunch of uckery, you dirty rotten scoundrels. Shout out to Jay with the damager right quick. But yes, you dirty rotten scoundrels. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Right. I understand this is LL's opinion. I want to make sure that I am not mad. Because you, the words you people, you, you are mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> Y'all seem more mad than me and the me up on social media. I just take umbrage to some things he said on there. What? This is hip hop. I don't understand that. If you, if you comment on something, that means you're hating or you're trying to, you're trying to beat somebody. No, I can have an opinion. I do a show here, goddammit. Now, in the words of Sheik Looch, walk with me. Now, I'm, a, I'm of age to talk about LL Cool J. I'm in my mid-40s, so I can talk about James Todd Smith. I could talk about LL Cool J. I could talk about I Can't Live Without My Radio 1985. I could talk about that. I could talk about Big Old Butt. I could talk about I'm That Type of Guy. I could talk about Milky Cereal. I could talk about 4321. I could talk about I'm Bad. I Need Love. I Need Love. Woo. Birthed Ja Rule. Birthed Drake. Let's call it what it is. Birthed those niggas. All right? LL, like he said, the first cat to sign to Def Jam. So we always going to put respect on LL's name for the contributions of what he did to hip-hop. If you want to go in, in this bag that he's one of the first goats, you can go there also. I'm not mad at you. But let's talk right quick about his, his cause the question was about the Mount Rushmore Def Jam recording label Def Jam. Shout out to Russell Simmons, shout out to Leo Cohen, Rick Rubin. I am from the LL Cool J era. I have a blog on here. You can type in PSA Reloaded LL Cool J, and you see I did a blog talking about why is LL Cool J catching slammed on social media. This is months ago, okay? But just because I got love for James Todd Smith, that don't mean I can't say a few things off my chest. Now, his list, and I'm talking about LL Cool J, his Mount Rushmore of Def Jam recording people. And I'm not mad, but I do got some pushback. Okay? And I don't want a hip hop pushback. Bunch of suckers out there. I think it's so soft. He has himself as he should. Let me make sure LL Cool J is in my personal um, Def Jam recording. Let me make sure I preface my statement off the jump. So y'all can understand where I'm coming from, okay? We're talking 1985, LL Cool J, okay? We're talking about consistency. We're talking about a dude that that survived the 80s, going into the 90s, and going into the early 2000s. This is facts. I love Rakim, but he didn't survive the 90s like LL did. He just didn't. I love Rakim, but he didn't survive that. Slick Rick either. Who's on your list, LL Cool J? We'll get to Ricky Rick real quick. Lolly Dotty, we love to party. The show with Dougie Fresh, we get it. The Great Adventure of Slick Rick. Was it 87? Part of song could be off. 87, 80, 87, I'm saying. One of the greatest storytellers of all time, Slick Rick. He's in a Mount Rushmore of storytelling in hip hop. You can throw him in there. Nas, Scarface. You can throw the brothers in there. storytelling and Scarface, Nas, Slick Rick. And Ghostface Killer. If we being technical, but whatever. Let's play Focus 3. Now, once again, his Mount Rush was himself, Public Enemy. Okay, let me say this right, right quick. Happy, I think Chuck D's birthday was a couple days ago. Let me say respect to Chuck 
D, respect to the Malcolm X of hip hop. What I've always called that brother, the Malcolm X of hip hop. Okay? Fight the power meant the world to me. Favorite Black Planet, it takes a million nation albums. Those albums meant the world to me. Can't trust it. But burn Hollywood, burn with, with, with Kane, Ice Cube, and Chuck D. Chuck D was speaking for the for the generational, for the for the for the conscious rap, introspective rap, police brutality. One the three, let's talk today. Let's talk some hip hop. Now, he has the Beastie Beastie Boys also in Slick Rick. First of all, R.I.P. Adam and real quick for the Beastie Boys, right? And I see some of y'all say run DMC. Do your Googles. Run DMC was never signed to um Def Jam. Relax, okay? Y'all got a bugging right now. I see people going, oh, run DMC. No, run DMC should not be on there over Beastie Boys. They was not on Def Jam, okay? So it was a profile records, man. Relax. Read the labels like Jizza said. The Jizza said, read the labels. Read the labels, all right? Now, I'm going to give pushback on two people. And let me go back to Steve the Chuck D right quick. I'm not mad at Chuck D. I'm not mad at LL's list, first of all. Yes, and, and, and one thing I, I respect about LL, he kept it in his era, in the 80s, which I respect because, let's be real, niggas, will, niggas stamped the 90s as the golden era of hip-hop, as you should. I ain't mad at that. But we're not going to poo-poo on the 80s. I like the 80s was not everything. I'm sorry, it just was. UTFO, Roxanne Shantae, MC Shan. You feel me? You had two short E4 NWA in there. Kane, Rick, KRS1, G Rap, Guru, MC Lights on Pepper. Yes. The prominent names in the 80s. You can throw two live crew in there too if you want to. Shout out Uncle Luke. So those are the prominent names in the in the 80s and, and stuff like that. Right? Now, Slick Rick, five great album in a, a Great Adventures of Slick Rick, a, a classic album, five mics. We're not even going to play them games. But slow down with me right quick. I think, did he get locked up the second album and the second album? So of one album, LL, Slick Rick, this is the pushback, I'll have LL. Or based off one, and I'm not mad at LL, so relax. I'm trying to make the, the math. To see the math is math in there. I'm going to use my how I feel. I don't think Slick Rick should be on there. I'm sorry, Ricky D. I'm sorry. Treat like a prostitute. We know. Mona Lisa. Hey, young world. We get it. Lick the balls. All those songs. Those are Indian girl. I got to ask who up in the play Indian girl. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Like, come on. I don't mean King Just. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Oh, sorry about King Just right quick, man. If you know, you know, man. All right? It's hip-hop over here. Stop playing with me. Now, listen, man. I don't know about Slick Rick on here, son. I'm going to be keeping tall. I don't know about Ricky D on here, man. That's not taking nothing away from Slick Rick. My cousin used to rock ballets and all that because of Slick Rick. He got Jamaican in his book, British Jamaican. I love Slick Rick. But son, and our children's story is one of the greatest songs of all time. Um, Black song in the version of we we get it. But son, Slick Rick or Mount Rushmore or based on one album? Because even if you have two other albums on on, on Def Jam, them joints was, the, the next one after this was not good. It was not good, bro. That strawberry song you have Outcast. No, no, fam, that, that wasn't popping, Ricky D. I'm sorry. Love you, Slick Rick. But nah, son. Slick Rick should not be on here, in my opinion. And the BC Boys. Love the BC Boys. But, and, and, and I understand you put in the forefathers and the founders who came with the Def Jam. You keep it in the 80s and all that. I, I, I respect that. But I, I'm a man who was here from the 80s. Who was here from the 90s and here, and here now. I keep telling y'all, even I'm 47 years old, I've never stopped listening to hip-hop. Never. I never took a break of listening to music. But my pushback is, I would, I'm taking, I would take the Beastie Boys off there. And, and I'm not saying we got to have diversity, but can we have some objectivity here, though, LL? The Beastie Boys? All right, man. I think if anything, Shannon, maybe you should ask who's the top 10 artists of all time on Def Jam because it's shortchanging a lot of people on there, man. 
You know what I mean? And I, and let's be honest, DMX, yes, Earl Simmons, R.I.P. DMX, the Dark Man X, DMX. He held Def Jam. I heard Russell. Listen, two albums in one year. Let me, let me, let me be clear. DMX, two albums in one year on Def Jam. He can, he helped keep the lights on. I don't think Nas should be on. No, I'm sorry. I don't think Nas says Jones should be on here. Sorry, Nas. No, you should not be on here. Okay? Fam. I'm putting DMX over Slick Rick or the Beastie Boys. I'm keeping it tall. I'm putting DMX over the Beastie Boys and Slick Rick. DMX. Yes, Earl Simmons. Ask Leo Cohen. And then the fourth guy, I'm sorry. You can't give them how y'all feel about my, my, my man's right here. Yes, Jigga Man, S. Doc Carter, Young Vito, voice of the young people. Yes, nigga, Hove. You heard? Stop playing with me. Yes, Hove should be on here. Are you kidding me? Sorry, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Y'all niggas is wild and say. Hove. And what did Hope say? I did Hope got a song called I Did It My Way on the Blueprint 2. And he said, We came into this game, not begging niggas pardon, demanding y'all respect, not hand over a check. Hand over a check. Who is he telling hand over a check to? That would be the Def Jam. <laughs> hand over a check. And while y'all at it, hand over the jet. We the reason Def Jam, we, we the reason they ain't hand over Def Jam over so quick. We the reason they ain't hand over Def Jam so quick. Because they did hand over Def Jam. That's Jigger Man. Now I see a lot of you fool around he's on there talking about, yo, Slick Rick over Hulk is asinine. I'm sorry. Slick Rick. On here over Jay Z is asinine, and can we count the waste? Oh, we shall. Let's look at this right quick, y'all. Okay, so Jay Z, see, ninety six reasonable doubt was not recorded or not under Def Jam. And real quick, before you niggas try to get cute, oh, we equate Jay Z to Rockefeller. It's still Rockefeller, Def Jam, and not for nothing. The nigga went from recording artists on Def Jam to the president. We'll get into that in a minute. So in ninety six. We, we're not gonna we're gonna exclude reasonable doubt. That has nothing to do with Def Jam, right? Let's go to November of 1997. Yes, November of 1997. Some of you niggas weren't even born yet, and I'm talking about in my lifetime. That was under Def Jam 97. Oh, shall we go September 1998? A year later, Volume Two, the Hard Knock Life album. That's 1998. That's two. Oh, let's go a year. Let's, let's go another year. 1999. Oh, December of 1999. Volume 3, Life and Times of F.S. Doc Carter. We're not talking about album the class. I mean, oh, no, no, we're talking about the consistency on Hove being recording out, recording on Def Jam Umbrella. So we're not going to do that. Okay? Don't give me this Rockefeller shit only. Don't, we're not doing that. All right? Boom. So we in 2000, October 2000, the Dynasty album. 2001, September 2001. The Blueprint, one. November 2022, Blueprint, two. November 2003, the Black album. 2000, he took a year, remember just a year? He, he, he was the press after that, after the Black album, he became the press. And real quick, LL, what you're not gonna tell the people is that, yo, if you know, you know. Anytime LL talks about Jay-Z, it's, it's, it's a little bit spicy behind there, dogs. Because you see Shannon Sharp said his name, right? Was, oh, you said whole name. Yeah, you said Jay-Z name twice. Let's keep it real. A lot of them niggas did not like the fact that Jay-Z was the president of Def Jam. Tell me I'm lying. Grab that water. Three. Tell me I'm lying. That niggas was not mad that Jay-Z was the president over there. Didn't niggas try to leave the label because they were so mad Jay-Z was over there? Didn't Cameron and them niggas try to bounce up out of there? Did they not? Hold on, son. Hold on. 
Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. I'll come right back. Hold on, y'all. I ain't going nowhere. Let's have a conversation right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's talk. Let's talk. Am I tripping? Am I tripping, though? A lot of them niggas was not happy the fact that Jay-Z was the, um... Who was the press? Hold on, y'all. Part itself. Part itself. Part itself. We're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. We're going to talk. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second, people. Give me one second here. All right. Give me one second. All right. Boom. Was he not? So, let's talk about it. So, I'm kind of confused. I would have DMX and Jay-Z in there. I would. I don't see how you can't have Jay-Z and D. I, listen, you can keep LL. You want to keep Public Enemy? Fine. But you got to throw DMX and Hov in there. I'm sorry. You got to throw DMX and Hov in there. Look at all the albums I gave out from Hov. I didn't even finish. I wouldn't even finish. Hold on, he was a president. Then, let's go to November 2006 with Kingdom Come. Let's go to November 2007 with American Gangster. Let's go September 2009, Blueprint 3, and 2013, July, Magna Carta. Y'all tell me, am I bugging? I need somebody to tell me, am I bugging? How could you not have hope on your list? How? Hello? I'm sorry. I, I get it. It's your list. You want to keep your class and everything like that, my boy? But I think that's asinine, fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To put Slick Rick... Yo, son. I love Slick Rick, man. But, dog. I'm sorry, man. I don't got Ricky D on there. I, I just don't. I just don't. And that's no shade to Slick Rick at all. Slick Rick is a legend. Don't ever get effed up. But over Hove? Why? Because he's there first? So, so what are we doing? So we giving niggas who's there first? Is that what we doing? So niggas that was there first, they get seniority. So, all right. So seniority takes over everything, basically. That, they, they, and that's what LL did right there. I'm not mad at that. But if we're going to be honest and really break this shit down, to my opinion, it got to be DMX and Hove. It just has to be, y'all. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's your boy, three. One.